pucker up. This is very weird. <laughs> and unleash your inner animal. Do you throw down when it comes to women? Get like all aggro up in there? She's mine. Right. <laughs> because tonight, we're back on the dating scene. From pasta making. Pasta does weird things to you. <laughs> to glass blowing. See my blow one I just did? I get a little tipsy on wine. Let's see what your tolerance is. I'm not going to let that go. Did you say tolerancy? I, I did. Okay, cool. All right. Cheers to tolerancy. <laughs> and get my crush on at summer camp. Nice. Oh. So get your best pickup lines ready. It's date night on First Look. They say the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. So if you want to spice things up in the romance department, you need look no further than the kitchen. And serving up today's date is Chef Carmine of Aunt Jake's in Little Italy, whose pasta making class is guaranteed to add a little sauce to your love life. <laughs> the correlation between food and sex, I would say probably if you make a nice meal for a woman, chances are you'll get laid. And with less than an hour to get ready, I'm calling in Makeover Gurus Priv, a company that delivers vetted beauty and wellness professionals right to your door. I'm feeling excited about the day. I'm, I'm a little nervous, but any kind of skills I can get in the kitchen, it's probably good, especially for my dating life. <laughs> And my date today is Carl Radke, ex-model and star of Bravo's hit series, Summer House. What's up with you and the ladies? What do you want to know? Are you a relationship guy? Uh, I'm a little nervous, because I'm sweating like a hostage already. You are tall. Yeah, so I, I'll get up here. No, I'll get up here. Yeah, there you That's go. That's better. <laughs> it's just nerve-wracking. Anytime I think you meet someone new that you really don't know that well. I hear you're a little bit of a flirt. Well, hold on. I just like a good, I like good conversation. I like eye contact. So sometimes that turns into flirting. So you don't think that's an accurate description? I am a flirt. Okay. Are you hungry? I like to eat. Okay, we're gonna be making pasta. Let's go. Where is it? I don't know. It's Little Italy, so oh, we can right. too much pasta. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta cross the street. Today for the basic pasta dough, we're gonna be making sheeted pasta. So everyone's gonna start out with three cups of flour in front of them. And then with the back of the spoon, I'm just gonna make a large well about the size of your hand. Big hands? Oh, I have big hands. <laughs> Do you guys have a washer and dryer here as well for my clothes? You're gonna get messy? Very messy. We send them out to Aunt Jake. Who is Aunt Jake? Can you give us a little background on that? Aunt Jake is uh, named after my aunt, which her name was Jacqueline. She grew up in uh, an old school Italian neighborhood. She used to cook for a lot of the old school guys. Instead of them telling their wives that they were hanging out with Jacqueline, they would say they were hanging out with Jake. Ooh, so she was like a side chick, if you will. <laughs> She's a spicy senorita. I think like women with like male names actually sound kind of hot, right? Sure. <laughs> I met a Steve once and she was gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> Learn more about Thanks. you. How's your rosé? It's delish. How's your rosé? Delish. Yeah. Do you actually use, you say delish? I just did. I mean, do you normally use delish? Yeah. Is that your lyrical lexicon? It's in there, it's in the mix. All right, so now that everyone has their- uh, hey, chat. We're just trying to, you know. I hear you, no worries. Trying to hit, try to hit on her a little bit. Trying to get your game going. Got How's it. your chat? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Stop, lay off my ball. I want to just get up in your ball. He's making love to his dough. Eighth of an inch. Oh. Sorry, I just- You just got to get in there, huh? I like to slap it. Can you pop it low? <laughs> oh, yeah, you pop it low? You gotta get real low to pop it There it, it is. Low. What's the dating scene like in New York? I, I actually read some numbers. There's more women in New York than men. Is there? So there's more options for that. Do you uh, feel like because there's so many options that it's harder to commit? Correct. You wanna hear my little New York saying? What? I need a quarter for some water for my daughter's dog. Is that good? Interesting. Is it saying that? That was actually pretty bad. Right? That nah, was great. I thought you mean like bad, like Qua off. Coffee, like coffee talk? Down. Coffee talk? Coffee talk. How's mine? Not that great. Not that great. <laughs> oh. There you go. Hey. All right, we're going to take three fingers. Thumb, middle, index. Pinch it together, you're going to make a little farfalle, a little bow tie. Right That's there. all right. You did all right. I feel like women have like better dexterity, like their hands are a little bit easier to manipulate. Whoa. Whoa, manipulation. The food. You're right. Watch yourself. <laughs> Stick those Start babies it. in boiling water. Yes, cook it for three minutes in boiling water. You want to finish it in tomato sauce or any other sauce that you're cooking with because it's almost like the same as if you take a hot shower and you moisturize after the hot shower. Your noodle is going to absorb the sauce. <laughs> 
Why is it so you said hot shower and then noodles. Noodles and gonna then absorb the sauce. Sauce absorption. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm hey, it's our date right now. So. <laughs> exactly. These two over here. I'm right. I don't understand. It's absorbing the sauce. Pa pasta does weird things to you. <laughs> and after working up a sweat in the kitchen, what better way to unwind than a romantic meal for two? And on today's menu, it's pasta a la Ashley and Carl. So what do you think? Who made better pasta? You think you did? I think I did too. Like, look at my hands. They are. I'm just quite not. Large. I'm not built for. For both? For like the details. <laughs> this pasta is really good. Uh, Bomb.com. That's how I like to say it. I would go on another pasta cooking class with you. It'd be good. What about like a pizza making class? Is our second date pizza? It's more just a, a reason to get to hang out with you. Yeah, I like it. You got a little on your tooth. Do I? Yeah. For sure home run date. I hope I made a great impression, Ashley. I, I think I did, but... Only time will tell. Him as a person, he seems cool. I think we still need to kind of get to know each other a little bit more. Ashley, call me. See what happens. Coming up, I get a little tongue tied. <laughs> look at this, look at this crazy tongue. I like a long tongue. Ah, la, la. that you can judge a man's true character by the way he treats his fellow animals. And on today's date, I'm about to do just that. Nestled in a thousand acres of ranch land and vineyards, Malibu Wine Safaris combines two of my favorite things, wine and animals. And here to show his animal side is People Magazine's very own pet vet, Dr. Evan Anton. A big part of nature, of course, is courtship. And that's just how animals kind of get started and that's what drives the animal race. I think that I definitely have an animal magnetism. I want to say I'm one with the animals. I'm looking forward to this date in all forms. I'm excited to try some beautiful wine here from Malibu. I'm excited to see the gorgeous animals and meet the pet vet Evan that all the ladies are swooning about in the office. <laughs> Evan! Hello! Hi! Hi. Nice <laughs> to meet you! Ooh. I'm excited about today. I am stoked. I've never been here and wanted to come for a long time. Same, same. I mean, we're in Malibu. We've got wine. We've got a safari. I mean, this is beautiful. Super pretty. So i got to ask you, can we learn to love by loving animals? Most definitely. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's that says a lot about a person mm. and their abilities to love based on how they love animals. Yeah. So if you're mean to animals, it's never going to happen. Same, same, same. <laughs> Should we go safari it up? Let's do this. Let's yeah. Do it. To Saddle Rock Ranch, and over here you can see our really big guard dogs, Chipotle and Barbecue Sauce, and their little son, by the way, his name is Baby Slider. Baby <laughs> Slider. So over here we have our two yaks, Yickety Yak, and his wife. Don't talk back. <laughs> this is some property, huh? This is so pretty out wow. here. So you know how you can tell the difference between llamas and alpacas? No. One way is you look at the ears. Llamas have kind of a curve to their ear, almost looks like a banana. And alpacas like that guy are a bit more straight. Oh. Alpacas are usually smaller too. Okay. Ready to feed some zebras? Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Zebra. zebra or zebra? I say zebra. Okay. Zebra? I grew up saying zebra. Yeah. I, just, I was just feeling you out. It's zebra. But I do like the sound of zebra. Well, that was yummy. I like Sabrina's hairdo. Her stripes are actually starting to turn more black. Because just a few months ago, she had her little baby fuzz and she was more brown. Baby brown. All right, guys, wine time. I love wine time. Wine is always a good little, you know, saddle up partner. Are we supposed to drink all these? <laughs> that, you know. Can we drink all these? Let's see what your tolerance is. I heard her say tolerancy, and I could feel that she immediately was like, Wait, that's not a word. I'm not gonna let that go. Did you say tolerancy? I, I did. Okay, cool. All right. Cheers to tolerancy. <laughs> I said tolerancy, and I, in my head, I was like, it's not a word. But Evan called me out on it, which was great, which was epic. So when did the love for animals start? Was that just something that, I mean, as a little boy, yeah. you were always out running around with the animals? Exactly. I mean, I grew up, I had a lot of wildlife in my backyard in Kansas where I lived. And it's so innate, like, it's just a part of me. Like, I can't even explain why I love it so much, but yeah. I just always have. I always know I wanted to work with them. Sounds pretty awesome. Have you pet a giraffe before? I've never pet a giraffe. Oh my gosh. Wow. So there's a few different ways you could take photos with Stanley. You could do a selfie, 
Um, yeah. If you're brave enough, you could get up close and personal. You could do Lady and the Tramp. I think we should Lady and the Tramp this. Oh. <laughs> Give it to me, Shanley. Where are you? Is that your idea yeah. of a first kiss? Do these serve a purpose? The males will use that to F each other up a little bit. You ever seen giraffes like throw down? No. They like swing their whole neck into it. They go like and like bash their heads into each other. Do you throw down when it comes down to women? Bit? Get like all aggro up in there? Get away from my woman. She's mine. Right. <laughs> look at this, look at this crazy tongue. I like a long tongue. Ah, la, la. Yes, that's the wine talking. Speaking of which. Do you typically drink red wine? Sorry. Your tolerance is going up. <laughs> My sure. tolerance is going down. <laughs> oh, it's going down. Yeah. It's is there going to be another date? I mean, if, if you don't have another date from, from here, it's like it's never going to work. This is the best possible chance of having a second date in this setting. Cheers to that. Cheers. To another date? To another date. Maybe. <laughs> I already drank. You can't throw that in there. It's messed up. Coming up. I reach new heights to impress my next date. OMG! How you doing up there? Um, I'm trying! <laughs> Be it a stolen kiss in the woods or a cuddle around the campfire, young love is as much part of summer camp as s'mores, hikes, sing-alongs, and bunk beds. But have you ever wondered what it would be like to go back to summer camp as an adult? Camp No Counselors is an all-inclusive sleepaway camp for the over 21 crowd that lets you play like a kid and party like a grown-up. So with the rule book out the window, who better to invite along as my date than bachelorette bad boy Chad Johnson? She wants a man. She doesn't want somebody who's going to play dress up and kiss okay. her ass. You know, they're all busy sucking up and then trying to make me seem like I'm, I'm the when all I'm doing is calling things like they are. He sure doesn't shy away from being fiery, but will he be able to keep that campfire flame burning on our date today? My mama warned me about you, oh. actually. She was like, uh-uh, honey, he's a bad boy. I'm not like a total jerk, okay, you know what I mean? Okay, that's good, that's good yeah. to know. So, summer camp, did uh, you do yeah. camp as a kid? I did it like one time, I think I stayed for like half a day. And then you bounced? Yeah, I mean it was hot and sweaty and in the woods and stuff, Sweet. but. Well this is adult camp. Okay. This is a little unusual. Yeah, on dates I don't normally like do stuff. I'm more of like a sit down guy, so. A little food, a yeah, little beverage. Yeah, exactly, I'll you, yeah. I'll you. Before we hit the campgrounds, we have to pick a bunk, so. You top or bottom? I'll do top. You top. Okay. Okay, I'll go bottom. Sounds good. With bunk selected, it's time to take a crack at camp life. Who wants to go first? He does. All right. <laughs> These are horrible shoes for this. Y'all should have informed me. You're like a gazelle. What are you talking about? Um... There you go. You're not doing bad. <laughs> well, that side's the easiest. <laughs> oh, wait, no, the right side. Well, I'm kind of. Oh. Ah. Oh my god. Use your legs more than your arms. Use your legs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's getting a little more difficult. <laughs> OMG. How you doing up there? Um, I'm trying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good job. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good job. <laughs> you were doing like a, a wide thing. Deep squat there. <laughs> we did it though. Right All right. What's next? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. That was so bad. No. <laughs> it's not very uncomfortable. Yeah, nah. Maybe some more cushioning in the general <laughs> area. Oh. And from swinging to shooting, let's see if this date is on target. Yeah! yeah. All right, lift it up. Is right that right with my. Oh, oh okay. arrow. Why can't you even get the freaking arrow in this thing? It's like my dating life. <laughs> oh, I nailed it! Nice. Oh. All right. <laughs> Let me to put go. the, yeah, slide it on there. Yeah. Oh, did you yeah, like yeah, that? That's a, Ooh, yeah, let's Ooh. roast these mellows. <laughs> so what'd you think of the date? I'd never really done like, physical stuff on a date, but it was actually kind of fun. It is cool. Yeah. I feel like you get to know people in a different kind of way. What was your favorite part of the date? It was all magical. When I kicked your butt in archery? Yeah. <laughs> Killed that marshmallow. I like it like this. I like the yeah, little burntness with the, okay. the chocolate. A little the crunch. 
the crunch. Yeah, I thought the day went great. It was a good day. We had fun. She was fun. I don't know enough about him yet to be like, yes, he's that kind of guy. Yes, I would date him, but. I'm pretty sure we're probably gonna get married now. Okay, Chad. Had fun today. Yeah, same here. You'd be good up there on top, okay? <laughs> I'm always good on top. Okay. Have a good night, Ashley. That's good to know. Good night. <laughs> Coming up, I try not to blow my chances with my next date. No, because it's like kind of awkward. I mean, this is very weird. <laughs> <laughs> this is so funny. When on a first date, it's important to be transparent, to show your true colors, and to be able to take some heat which is what I'll be doing today at Moonlight Glass with my date, Mike Showed, of the hit reality show, Shaws of Sunset. You love women with big breasts. You said that to me like a hundred times. The next woman that I'm gonna be with is gonna be the, hopefully, mother of my children. Together, we're going to attempt to make a wine glass using the ancient craft of glass blowing. I've never blown glass or anything before in my life, uh, so this is all new to me. I know that it involves heat, glass, and a good time. I don't think it's a cool idea for a first date. I actually think it's kind of boring. I think it's unusual to do on a first date. So yeah. Mike. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Oh, it smells delicious. Oh, thank you. I know that scent, actually. You do. It's quality. It's a nice. good one. Yeah. All right, so we're going to learn how to blow glass today. Our first date. I think it's going to be fun. Yeah, yeah. first yeah. date. It is our anticipating first date. a second one. Well, we'll see. Okay. We'll see how you blow. <laughs> <laughs> and showing us the ropes is master glass blower John Mooney. With 30 years of experience under his belt, his skills on the furnace are second to none. So my question is, is it safe? Oh, damn, John! Yeah, I burned myself the other day. Okay! Oh, I, 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 <laughs> what is that? I, I, I should have hit it. Yeah. I, I never burn myself, very rarely. I well, yeah, you've been doing it for 30 years. What yeah. about us? John, I don't want any of those. John, I gotta I keep it fresh. You're not gonna get burned. You're not gonna get burned, I promise. Okay. There's understanding. There's a lot of experience and understanding. You have to respect the glass. You gotta respect it. I guess just like any first date, if you touch too soon, you might get burned and the 1,500 degrees coming out of that glass furnace will keep you reminded of that. So this is molten glass. It's going to be Ooh. on the... Right? So that's one gather... Oh, that looks glass, awesome. Right? We pick a color from a collection of glass shards. Let's see, I've got aqua blue. I've got dark blue. Yeah, I like the different colors of blues, maybe. That's nice. We roll up the colors into the melted glass. So you know what you're doing. Sort of I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. I don't really know. I wasn't even listening. I was just like, all right. Mike was listening the whole time, but he was there. <laughs> he was having a good time. And then flash it in what is fondly known as the glory hole. I'm gonna be flashing Ooh. you in the glory yes, hole. Yes, you Easy, are. John. Two or three times. Two or three times. Her, oh. I know, I know. A lot of sexual innuendos on this bad boy. Do you like it shorter and fatter, or do you like it longer and skinnier? <laughs> nice. No That's a good one. I haven't heard that one before. I like it in between. Cool that pipe. Cool the pipe. So many innuendos on this date, it's ridiculous. Nice. Last week, flash. The glory hole is bright. She's a bright senorita. You got a, you got a little bit of a tan. <laughs> I think there was chemistry between Mike and I. I mean, he was very nice. He's, he was a gentleman and always making sure, you know, I was watching out for extreme heat. Be careful. Which I thought was nice. And after cooling down the pipe, it's time to get blowing. All right, John, you ready to blow some glass? You're blowing glass. I'm blowing glass. You ready I'm, for me to I'm blow glass? I'm ready for you to blow some glass. Yeah, you are. I like that attitude. It's like kind of I mean, this is weird. <laughs> this is so funny. Okay, blow harder. Keep going. 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 Okay, stop. That's perfect. You realize how much work goes into these kind of things, huh? Yeah. I have a whole new respect for uh, wine glasses now. Okay, now it's Mike's turn to get to work, continuing to shape this wine glass. You're gonna hold those jacks perpendicular to the pipe, and you're gonna push in and make a flat bottom so it, so it stands. I hope you're happy with the amount of work I'm You're happy with the see my blow one I just did? 
And after shaping the glass, we give it one final flash in the glory hole. All the way in there, flashing, flashing, flashing. You know what, I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually enjoying this. this All right, take it out of the heat, take it out of the heat. Right here. What, that Boom. was beautiful. There we go, we're gonna do like this. Good job. All right, that was you did, good. You did good. John, you hanging. are a... Boom, nice. good job. I thought this was gonna be boring, but I actually had a really good time. Did you have a good time? And you have a very cool personality, so. Are you, are you gonna blow in the future? Maybe. Maybe. I might leave the blow to John. <laughs> John blows real well. Funny. <laughs> so when do we get our glass? Uh, we'll anneal it for two days in that annealer, and uh, then you can come and pick it up. So the second day will be when we pick up our glass? Maybe. I'll see you here. High five. Hey. High five. <laughs> Dating, the social experiment of love. Make sure to keep your options open and be ready for when the right one comes along. See you next week.